What's up guys? Welcome back to the Hellcat channel. Today we're going to do a little seasonal jetting on the 421 Cub. So if you had not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. Share this video with your friends. It's going to be a little tutorial on how to jet for seasonal change. I have it all written down over there and I'm going to show you. And this is per Keyhine. I already know to do this, but I did call and verify it with them and talk to one of their technicians and he verified exactly what I'm about to tell y'all. Now, I just have to look over the Banshee. It's pretty nasty. Hadn't ridden it in a while. But this video is not going to be a, ri a riding video. I'm going to get gas this weekend. And we are riding. I'm supposed to be riding with a LT450R and a YZ450 uh, new one. But uh, we're going to go do some woods riding. So I don't know how fast those trails are going to be. But uh, I guess we'll see. We just want to have a little fun, just like all of us does. So... For those that do know, most of you know how to jet a Banshee or PWK 35 millimeter carbs. They're not hard, but I'm going to go through a little tutor, uh, tutorial on how to do it for the people that don't know. After all, that's what this channel is about, about learning stuff about Banshees and a little bit of cars, more, more on the ATV side because it's pretty much my passion. But uh, most people know that on a Banshee, you just unbolt the flathead right there. Unbolt a flathead here, and this pod pulls off. What you do, take a 17 millimeter. This will unscrew. Unscrew it. Once you get that off, it's a six millimeter, which I don't have, but six millimeter, I take the uh, main jet out. Okay. Here's where we're at for seasonal jetting change. <clears throat> My bike was tuned let me rephrase that. My ATV was tuned. People get all banana shape when I say my bike for some reason. But anyways, my ATV was tuned when it had, a, or when it was 104 degrees in the dyno room. And uh, I'm going to try to post my dyno sheets. I found two more of them on an older, older phone. I actually have them on my phone now. So here's what I'm going to learn in today for those that don't know. And you know, as growing up as kids, I didn't do none of this. I rode the wheels off my stuff, and there was times, though, when the temperature got really cool, I thought my foolers ran funny, like they, they bogged a little here and there. Now, come to find out, it's because they was running lean. I never burnt one down, though. That's what's strange, you know. But I also never had a 100-horsepower motor. Okay, so this is what it was the day in the dyno room, 104 degrees. It was tuned on a 152 main. If you minus 25 degrees, that goes down to 79 degrees. Now, like I said, this is all per Keyhine. They claim their main jets will cover an area of 25 degrees temperature drop. So today, let's say it was 48, 50 degrees. I could not run a 152 because it only covers down to 79 degrees. Anything under 79? You have to go up to a 155. 79 degrees minus 25 is 54. So that means if today it was 50 degrees or say 48, I couldn't run it with a 155 because a 155 only covers 79 degrees down to 54. You see what I'm saying? And so on. So today, 50 degrees, this is where I would be, a 158 main. Anything under 53 degrees or 54, you need to go up to a 158. So 54 degrees minus 25, that means a 158 will cover 54 to 29 degrees in this area. And then here's one nobody's never really riding in because, I mean, this is cold as crap, you know, 4 degrees. But I covered it anyway. Uh, 29 degrees minus 25, that means a 160 would cover all the way down to 4 degrees that day. So that means you would go up one, two, three to run down to four degrees. Three main jets will cover that. Like I said, this is per key height. This is not something I'm making up and teaching you guys. I've called them and I have verified this. And I already kind of knew this. And I actually tried to get them on the phone so you could actually hear it from them, but I couldn't get a hold of them at this time. But anyways, so today it was 50 degrees. And if I wanted to ride this Banshee, I would not be on this main, this main, but I would be on this main. A 158. 
and it goes all the way down to 29 degrees. So we are going to put a 158 in it, and then I got to get me some gas and mix the oil. So I've got me a little bucket here with my mains, but I also have a bunch here. And I don't know if you can see them, but these are 150s, which I don't use, 152, 155. I got three 158s, and apparently I've lost a 160. I don't know if you can see that. This is 162s, and I've lost a 165, which I never run that 165. So, on these 158s, I think one of them's a knockoff or something. Actually, there's two of them. I like running genuine Kihan jets. I don't know if you can see it, but that says AB-158. This also says AB-158. Now, your normal Kihan jets has like a star on them. That's kind of the ones you want to run. I really don't know if there's any difference. Maybe some of you guys know and you can learn me something. If you do, put them in the comments there on, you know, what you know the difference is between uh, the jets that say AB and the ones that's got a star. Like I said, I know the ones that has a star is factory jets. So we are putting 158s back in this thing, but I want to run factory Keyhind jets, so I'm not going to put them back in today. Uh, I'm actually going to run by the ATV shop tomorrow because I got a part coming for the King Quad. Uh, what was it I ordered? Oh, yeah, I'd actually lost the thing that holds the switch in. But anyway, uh, tomorrow I will put it back together. And by this weekend, boys, we are going to be rolling with this 100 horsepower Banshee. <coughs> Trail riding, sorry, excuse me. I had to cough for a second, but yeah. We are going to be riding at a place down south and uh should be a fun little place i'll let you know how it goes and uh i'm gonna take my gopro like i always do and do a little filming but uh yeah that's about where we're at so uh like i said hey man if y'all hadn't hit the subscribe button yet go ahead and do that share this video with your friends tell everybody you know i know a lot of people like this four wheeler i've had a lot of people offer to buy this four wheeler and uh if you've if you've looked up how to build one of these four wheelers you know, this, this four-wheeler has the cub kit. It also has a pro mod trainee, billet basket. I mean, it's there was nothing spared on this ATV when I built it. Uh, it's a very good running ATV. It does need some new muffler guards. You can pick them up from Cascade Innovations. Well, they are no longer in business. It's actually called Top Dog Racing now. They have them. But uh, I'm going to drain what gas is in this thing because it's been sitting a little bit. I'm kind of scared it may, may be bad or something. So I may go ahead and drain that. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll have another video up uh, this weekend. Maybe maybe Saturday evening. I hope if everything goes well. But I want to get some gas. And I just want to show you. And <clears throat> this is what I run in this four-wheeler. You can buy it off eBay. I think I give $21. And this is actually... 33.8 ounces. The local ATV shop sells 16 ounces for $14, which I think is a ripoff. But uh, here's one more little glance at your chart, just so you know. Just to recap, 104 degrees down to 79 will be your 152. If this is tuned perfect, then you start minus 25 degrees from there. <clears throat> 155 will go down to 54. 158 will go down to 29, 160 will go down to 4 degrees. This is Keyhine's number, one of them I just Googled and found. So if you want to call them, verify that, don't take my word on it. So, you know, <laughs> if you blow your ATV up, it's, it's not on me. This is just something I'm telling you I've learned. You know, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to follow what I'm saying. Uh, it's just something I've learned from them. I kind of already know, like I said at the beginning of the video. So. You verify this, and uh, you can do what you want on your ATV. I'm just kind of giving you some tips and hints of how to do your jetting. Now, as far as the needle goes, I don't really uh, change the needle. The main, I change the pilot a little, but that's about it. But uh, 
Guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you had not hit that subscribe button, do it now. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload stuff. Appreciate it, guys. God bless, and y'all have a good day.